What's up, guys? It's Bwiz. Come at you with a workflow tutorial. I'm. This one is actually a follow-up to my RunPod installation. Yeah. I'm, now, this is really good for uh, my clients who are looking to create Instagram influencers, NSFW content. So yeah, mainly just influencer content. And um, so yeah, let's dive into it and see which produces the best results. Um. So let me, this was the face that we were looking to accomplish. So whatever your face is that you're looking to accomplish. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and keep the base. Current screen. It's, it's all right. So now, got our reference poses, or pose. Um, you could do load image or batch. And then put your path to your image location curd, uh, to do like a incremental image. That way, each time it uses a different pose. But we're just going to use one pose for now because it's, uh, simplicity. All right, control V, because we, we uh, copied that face. So that's the face that we're trying to use here. So let's, uh, this is for this version of the workflow. Sometimes I use a lust uh, checkpoint, um, which is like for NSFW content. Then we have our Laura's here for SDXL. And we have our Flux model and Flux clip. Uh, and then also Flux Laura's here. So I want to make sure we get all those. We also want to make sure that we get CR load upscale model. So we have one more upscale model that we need. The 1x the noise underscore real. And see, I have the link right here. Control A copy. I just want you to get the hang of this so you can copy link address from the download link right here. Go back to your terminal. Make sure you got this so good. CD dot dot. Oh, actually, no, we were in, we were already in up to upscale models. So CD upscale underscore models into our directory. See there we have our D blur, Cleary audio truck, whole heart of your room cry. So do W get, we're going to get this last one. There it is. No definitions. Hey, listen. These upscale models can be a pain in the butt. They just airy out. Okay. There we go. Now we got it. So we're going to press control enter again. Let's go ahead and start it. There we go. Went through that note again now. So now it's going there. Our Florence model. What's going on here? Just in case we ever have to fix it in the future. Might be an error with uh, Sage attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to our workspace. Where we run comfy UI. We're going to open with editor. So right here where it says use Sage attention, we're going to get rid of that for now. Um, which it does help with videos to make them uh, render faster. But... Um, for a lot of reasons, I've seen it actually error out. So let's see if we see if that actually uh, fixes our problem. So let's uh, cd dot dot, see me, e dot dot, seeding dot dot. And we're going to dot dash run underscore comfy because I closed it out. You are a dot sh. Let's run it again and um, let's see if uh, disabling stage attention fixes that error. Um, if not, we'll have to figure out what does fix that error, and then I'll update you with that. Let me uh, skip forward to the end, and we'll see what's going on. Run this the way it is right here. Chin detailer. So what we're going to do with this chin de detailer is get the lore tags. Uh, once again, we have to refresh no definitions. It's got it right here where it's trying to load the Loras. Uh, you know, with these the RG3, sometimes even if the lore doesn't load, it's not going to throw an error. So sometimes it will actually... Um, I don't think I got the chin detailer. Hold on, give me one second. Oh, I need to put it in there. Hold on a second. So we're going to... Oh, no, we're going to go to Comfy UI. 
We're going to go to models. I'm Laura's. And that's where we're going to put the chin detailer from what we just downloaded. It's only 40 megabytes, so it, you can upload this one through. Uh, Jupiter Labs, and it'll be fun. So let's go back to this. Bear with me, I have so many open. I'm surprised somehow how I figure out which one's which sometimes. Which uh, tab is which? Sorry. Loaded, sir. So chin picture is now in there, sir. So We'll just put it as the right thing. Uh, looks. Let's go ahead and um. So let's go ahead and get your, get these things that you know. Just want to mention this in this video. Uh, the flux. Amateur. Code and tile. Where B. Is a really good one. Um. I like to put it in my in my flux workflows. The amateur photography is more of like, you know, you don't you don't want everything so perfect. So it's like more an amateur type photography. So this is a flux, Laura. We'll go ahead and get that. Sail back over to Jupiter Labs. Make sure we got the right one. Yeah, this one. I think. Let me make sure. Um, output model, model. Something. Morris. Nope, this isn't the right one. It's this one. Okay. So, we're in the, we're, we're looking at the folder over here. But keep in mind, that doesn't represent what's over here. So, you want to do CD, copy, UI. Let's just go ahead and dash, um, Models, all lower caves. Um, Loris. So we're just go ahead and change all the way to that direction. You can do them all at one time. You don't have to, you know, press CD to one and they go to the next. You can type them in just like that. So uh, we'll do W kit. And this is the amateur photography, Laura. So let's let that finish. And this is how you, you know, add it. Add a Laura. Oh, oh crap. Fairy out right here. Okay. Um, always click refresh no definitions. Let's turn that one off because I don't have it. Um, well, amateur photography. So that's basically how you add, you know, your Laura stuff works. Now, pay attention to over here. This one loads SDXL Laura's as well, which... Um, we might, yeah, we have that one. Excel more art. Mm. See, it doesn't have that one exactly, so. Um. Yeah, so you just change your lures up here. I, you know, download lures just the way I just, just showed you. Um, now flux lures go in the same folder. If you want to within your lures, you could uh mkdrr loves you know you can make a directory inside of uh loras so oh, look at it dear so you see it's got that flux folder here so cd flux all caps so you could put your loras and 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 define them as in flux sdxl sd 1.5 if you want to be more organized that's how you can do that um of course i don't because i'm very unorganized And so I would recommend like this, um, the Comfy App Portraits. Laura 64 is a certain one to for uh, realism, I think. Um, flux depth, anti-blur, because for some reason, Flux likes to blur the backgrounds of images. So that kind of takes away on that. Um, you can always uh, mess with the strengths. Um, actually wouldn't recommend going over one. I don't know why I did them in this one, but we'll stick with that. But so yeah, that's pretty much how this works. Um, over here, we actually have a control net. If you want to highlight all of them and then press control M, control M, and it'll go ahead and enable them. Or you can go up here to where the enabler is and you can enable or disable anything you want right there. Um, but once we're going to go over it, we're going to check out how it does with the uh, control net. It does a control net plus IP adapter. Uh, very handy, very uh, beneficial to making 
uh, consistent characters. Uh, so let's go ahead and just run this. All right, so here we have gotten to the end of the workflow. I've skipped a bit and um, done a little bit of uh, magic skipping here to make it a little bit quicker. But as you see here, it has tried its best to, you know, follow the control net IP adapter and uh, face swap. <sighs> It's done really well in keeping her kind of in the same pose as she was, but like I said, you can you can give or take on the uh, settings in the control net to get it closer or further a little bit from the uh, original. And then we have went through to a Flux, Ace Plus Plus Face Swap by T Storm and me. And you can see here how it really hodes in on her face, gets in many different settings, you know, forehead area. Um, and then comes over here to the skin de skin enhancer and detailer does all that on down to the chin detailer and the eye detailer down here see if I actually get to the end of this one and see if it does a face swap here now I didn't get all the way through this I don't know why it didn't do that but won't mess with it not that yeah so it even does it better with the face swap here at the very end just a give it its spinal touches so yeah um get our result here towards the bottom everything seems to be going well i really like this workflow and uh i hope you do too uh speaking of likes if you want to go ahead and just click that like button real quick maybe a subscribe or so yeah man um we'll do some more workflows soon and i uh, can't wait to do some more comfy ui tutorials with you guys